Engineering Dynamics, Session 12, Kinematics of a Particle, The Chain Rule. Let's review the chain rule in calculus. The chain rule of calculus can be used to determine the time derivative of a composite function. For example, if y is a function of x and x itself is a function of time, then we want to find the derivative of y with respect to time. So y dot is equal to dy over dt, y dot is equal to dy over dt, one, and we can write it like y over dx times dx over dt and we can cancel out these two dx in denominator and numerator box and it's again dy over dt that's the chain rule in calculus so let's make a use of that in dynamic for example if we have y as a function of x cube and then x itself is t to the force we want to find y double dot So y dot is a 3x, 3x squared dx, and we can show dx like x dot. If we derivate it once more, we just derivate the first part. That's a, C, a 6x times x dot times dx itself. Let's put it this way. Derivative of first part times the second. And then this part as a constant and derivative of the second part. So it's like a, like a multiple derivation. So the, the first, we just derivate the first part times like the second part as a constant, like the yellowish part over here. And then x squared like constant times the second derivative of x, the derivation of x dot, which is x double dot. Then we can rearrange the equation like a 3x times bracket 2, x dot squared plus x times x double dot. And then if we just replace x by t squared, a t to the force, you can easily have like, whenever, wherever you have x, just replace them by a t. So just 3x would be 3 times t to the force. If x is t to the force, then x dot is 4t cubed. That's 4t cubed, then squared plus x, then t4, 10 to the 4, t to the force times a x double dot. That's a 12. This is x. This is x dot, this is x double dot. 12 t to the t cube, t square. 12 times t squared over here. Then if you rearrange the equation, uh, equation, it just, let's make it a bit thinner. Just gives you this equation. And as soon as you have this one, you can rearrange it and report it like y dot is equal to 132 t to 10. And an easier approach is also like we can solve it in second approach, like at the, at the very beginning, you just replace y is equal to x cubed, like replace x cubed, like t to the force here, then cubed, it just gives us t to 12, and then y dot is 12 t to the 11, and y double dot is 132 t to 10. We work around to relate it to calculation of velocity and acceleration in dynamics.